Now within p4psoftware.com, we do have the ability to change the percentage of labor revenue given to the employee on an individual user basis. That is possible. However, typically I recommend not doing that. Mostly due to the fact that you want to make it a pure meritocracy. There is no determining who gets a higher percentage. I understand in some industries there's foremen and there are uh, apprentices and that in that case potentially if there's certain certifications you would have a different percentage of labor revenue that goes to the employee but ideally you keep that percentage the same you keep your base pay the same and you allow things like the training bonus project management bonus and referral bonuses and all the other additions that they can tap into because like, look if they're so good if they're so skilled they should be able to manage projects they should be able to take 200 hour projects and get them done in 160 hours and get a really good project management bonus on top of the P for P that they made with all the labors. So although you can, and there is the flexibility to change the, the, the percentage of revenue that goes to the employee on the user basis, that is possible. However, I recommend keeping that the same. I recommend keeping the base pay the same. And that really creates a, a, an environment where it's like, look, it doesn't matter if you just got started today or you've been here for 10 years. Every single day, you get a percentage of the revenue you make for this business, and that means good things if you're working hard. It does, and then there's downside too. There's downside to being lax, being uh, complacent, and just thinking that if I stay here longer, I'll make more money.